Hey guys and welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be a story time. Some of you guys may be wondering, like, um, you posted a story time on the 7th and now you're posting one on the 18th and it's the same exact one. Yes. Um, I posted that video on the 7th and my mom saw it and she did not like it at all. So she asked me to take it down and she said, you know, you can redo it, but this is why I want you to fix this and this and this and don't maybe do this and this and this. I, I don't remember what she said, but, you know, I know what to do now. So that is why I'm here saying this story all over again. Only four of you guys actually saw it, so it's not really like... Oh, it was such a big deal, but I'm just here to give you guys better quality. So, before I start this video, I do want to say it is about a dead person, if you can't tell by the title, that I saw on Halloween. And I would like, if you guys are younger than 13, to have a parent or guardian's, um next to you or permission to watch this video even though i'm not going to go into like detail and things like that i'm just going to tell you from my perspective i just want to make sure you guys are safe and if you guys do not want to watch this video i'll see you guys on monday for another video so let's just get into that video on halloween i believe i was olaf i still play with like my american girl dolls and i was pushing them in the stroller um i still uh, dressed them up in costumes, and it was just a regular Halloween, dressed as Olaf. So I was going from house to house, going this way, because how our houses are laid out in my neighborhood, like, zigzags. So it is the third house down from me, from my right, if, like, if you're looking at it, like, this way, I guess, flip-flop. Like, if you're looking at it, like, coming out of the front door, let's say. It's simply right. But if you ask guys do you know where I live, please do not go looking through that house, to that house or, like, stopping to that house and be like, oh, look, that's the person where she's where the dead body from. Like, p please don't do that. It's just some privacy, you know. But I was going up to that house. I was actually leaving the house, like, the bigger house was on the corner to the left of the house. And I was going to that house. And I knocked on the door. I was like, knock 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 and this guy usually answers his door every single halloween and our rule is that if they don't answer by 10 seconds we go to the next house they're not home or they're not answering their door well for me i'm counting one two three four and i was like um this guy comes to our house every like opens up his door and gives us candy every single year so why isn't he open up his door well, like, he has, like, big windows, like, in, like, I guess it's, like, you could say this is the front of his house, and the door's, like, here, and there's, like, just a huge window here, and there's blinds there, right? So I just look through, and all of a sudden, I see, it's, like, dark in his house, like, there's no lights on, and all I see is, like, a body laying down on the floor, like, close to the door, close to the stairs, and I see there's a vacuum plugged in, and I'm, like, and I'm like, uh, mom, I think there's a dead body in that house. My mom goes, let me see. And then I was like, okay. And then she goes, she goes, guys, go down to this block over here. I'm going to go call the cops, things like that. So my mom's dialing the phone, 911, you know. And the operator goes, hello. And my mom goes, hi. She goes, hello, what's your emergency? And my mom goes, hi, yes. Um, my daughter saw a dead body in this house. And he, she goes, um, it's Halloween, we don't like tricks, and my mom's like, I'm not tricking you, it's true, like, I'm standing here, like, in front of the door, practically, telling you that there's a dead person in here, so you need to send people down here, so, eventually, all you hear is, like, sirens going around, and finally, they come, and now there's, like, people coming all over, the, surrounding this house, practically, it's Halloween, people from, like, over there are coming, people from over here are coming, people from behind us are coming, people that live all the way behind them are coming, it's just, like, every, every four ways you could possibly think of, people are coming from, I'm like, oh, what's going on, what's going on, and I was like, I could be like, oh, yeah, there's a dead body in that house, you know, like, I'm just gonna keep quiet, like, they probably think just somebody got hurt, you know, so, um, we go down and we're still trick or treating, and eventually, like the cops, the ambulance, I think it's called first responders who come, and they come to the house, and now they need to get in. 
So the cop comes in and he goes, kicks the door. Well, the cop goes flying backwards and he actually hurts himself, but they couldn't open up the door because that's how strong the lock was. So now they go around to the back of the house because there's like a gate and then you can go back. I think like every house has like a back door. So like they're seeing like if the lock's that strong or if it's open or things like that. But that was actually locked too and they didn't want to break in. They didn't want to break in through that way, I guess you can say. So then they came back around and somebody that was on scene or a neighbor or somebody that was there actually knew like the son. So they called the son and was like, you know, sorry for the bad news. Like your father is dead on the floor. We need to get in can you come here with the key so then they came in he came in with the key they opened up the door and um he was dead there for about since the noon um he died of a heart attack that's what they that's what the emt said um i don't know what else happened after that i'm pretty sure they just probably put him to like that car that brings like the deceased people like wrapped him up not like a murder scene but you know like into like that black bag to pay respect things like that and they put it into the car so they can go pay their respect for a funeral things like that but that's what happened and then i was just like so in shock and my mom was like oh just go down the other street and go because my mom has to feel like paperwork and things like that saying like yes i saw this yes like this happened and things like that um it was just really sad for like the family and it was actually kind of scared I was scared and nervous and things like that because here I am like 9 or 10 years old and I'm seeing a dead body for the first time even though like I watch cop shows you know you know I watch live PD, live PD a lot um if you can't see the sticker over there but I watch live PD a lot I watch like a lot of cop shows you know NCIS, Criminal Minds, FBI, SWAT, the Lethal Weapon like all those cop shows you know so I was scared because when it was Halloween and there's like people surrounding me and I've just never seen it. So then eventually, you know, my mom's like, all right, can I go now? Like my kids are trick or treating, you know, like, can I leave? And they're like, oh yeah, sure. You can leave. So then we just go down our house, like we pass our house so we can go to the next block and things like that. And my mom's like, you know, I'm happy you told me, things like that. I know it's scary and things like that, but everything's going to work out for everybody in the long run. Um... And then we were just walking past to go to another block and then like the first responder came up to me and you know was like thank you for doing like what you did um you know you're like really brave like somebody that young would have never done anything about that like they probably would have like the son or who like the relatives probably would have like never known that and the thing that was actually like pretty sketchy sketchy you can say is that this guy um calls his sister no not sister daughter-in-law or daughter every single year or son some some relative he calls every year be like hey can you go get me candy for the trick-or-treaters tonight but this time he never called but i'm like if he never called then we should have called him or checked on him or something you know that's something that made no sense to me it's like you never want to go check or talk to him to see like if he's okay or if he wants candy for the, like that's the thing is like right then and there was like you should have known like he's not not calling you he never gets candy so like why would he get candy now you know it just it just didn't make any sense but everyone was just thankful for me that i did what i did and we just left it as that you know finished off my day it was still processing through my brain that I just saw that, and it's fine, like, it's fine to me, but, um, it actually only took me, like, two or three days to actually be, like, like, forget about it, you can say, like, I still know about it, but it's, like, I don't think about it anymore, it's, like, even, like, on Halloween, did I really think that about it? No, it was just, like, I knew people live there now, so it's fine, but actually what is so weird is that I found out that the sis daughter daughter in law um actually works in my school which is so weird i'm like what like that's so weird like i've known this for like three years and now i know that like the daughter in law like 
works in our, my school so that is just so weird and I don't talk about it in school or things like that one because I also don't really know even though my mom tried to give me a description of who like the person may be I still technically really don't know I have an idea maybe but there's so many people that have blonde hair you can say or black hair like there's just so many people you know I don't know who's who um, so that's why I don't say anything about it. Um, it's also really hurtful and did happen a while ago, so I don't think they would want to remember her again, you know? But, and my mom actually saw them because they were riding their bikes down my street and my mom was coming home from work, but I wasn't home, I was actually in Florida. And my mom was like, oh yeah, they stopped by and said, you know, thank you so much, you know, things like that. So, I guess you can say it started off as bad but then it ended off good you can say you know a couple of years later and that's honestly the, all I know I don't want to really know anything else more about it I was doing just doing the right thing and I hope everybody of their family members is all okay if you guys are wondering if like I know any like that's all the information I know and that's all the information I want to know you know I don't want to go more into detail and be like oh well this and this like I don't like none of my business anymore I did what I had to do and that was it so I hope you guys like this video if you guys want to see any more story times leave them in the description box down below because I really like doing story times maybe I'll see if like my, my grandma or my mom my great grandma my aunt will come down and sit in front of the camera and make a story time about when my brothers and I were little or something about this or even like make like a review story time or something leave that in the comments down below I love reading all you guys comments I read them all the time some of you guys have like really weird comments like I'm not gonna say anything but even my brothers like they want to be funny and they just make these comments so weird I'm like what are you even talking about but that's the thing I love about those comments it's just like seeing like oh good things and it's seeing like silly things that make me laugh when I'm in a bad mood or something like that so you guys can also leave funny comments down below but I hope you guys like this video give this video a big thumbs up for our first story time subscribe to our channel down below it's that red button and once you're done that hit that post notification bell on so you Get notified every single time I upload. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 5 o'clock New York Eastern Time, and it's actually 5 o'clock. I schedule them to 5 o'clock. I upload them at like 3, and then I schedule them to 5. So it's at every single 5 o'clock every other day. So Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time, and I'll see you guys in our next video. Bye, guys.